YouTube, what's up? We are outside once again. Today is a beautiful day. Actually, it's a beautiful day outside as well, but it is a good day inside as well for you, right? Because there is an update. So as you can see on the title, there is now a way of farming egg moves for specific Pokemons. Of course, it's going to take a very long time to do. I have a video how to farm candies on specific Pokemons. So if you're looking for a specific egg move, for a specific Pokemon, or you want to farm the shiny variant for that specific Pokemon, you can now manually do it. You don't have to hatch eggs anymore. Or, I mean, technically it's still an egg, right? I will explain in-game, we're gonna see the update as well on GitHub, and then we're gonna... We're gonna test in-game, right? I didn't test it on my side yet, so we're gonna discover together. Let's get into it. Oh, and uh, subscribe and like the video as well, right? Now, please. <laughs> We are back on GitHub. This is the pull request that was accepted six hours ago. So I was sleeping. So, you know, it is what it is. So this is the uh, same species egg, egg class rewrite. So this is for, for the code. And we have uh, eggs to generate same species eggs plus egg overrides. Let me explain. Basically, what this does is this thing here. There is a new menu option on the candy shop, candy shop, sorry. <laughs> okay, 50 cent menu where it is now possible to buy an egg of the same species. So we're gonna see the video together and we're gonna then test in game. So there you go. So basically you have to unlock the passability first as I understand it. As you can see now we have unnerve and now we have the option to buy an egg. So this is very expensive. Like this is insanely expensive. I don't know if the, it, it varies. I, okay, it does vary depending on the if it's um, like a very high cost or not. So, I guess 20 for a 6 cost is pretty high. Okay, it's 40 for a 3 cost. Oh my god, okay. It is pretty expensive, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so now you are actually gonna make an egg of that, spe that specific species. And uh, you're gonna be able to farm egg moves and farm the candy variant. Uh, the candy, the shiny variant, of course. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go in-game and I'm gonna test this myself. And then I'm just gonna hatch a couple of eggs and we're gonna see how this works, all right? All right, so new game, classic. So I believe I have some points to spend, so let me spend them. That's why I always do the same thing, by the way. Uh, okay, and before we go, let me show you my stats. There you go, just someone asked. Okay, so you have to unlock those passives first. So this is what I do. I reduce the cost by one all the time first, and then I buy the passive, and then I buy the second reduction cost. I always do it in the same order. So as you can see, I have my reduction cost on basically all the Pokemons, and then I'm buying the passive. So as I hatch eggs, and as I farm those candies, we um, we have more things. So I got a Nilego recently, so now we have a Levitate. We have the first reduction co reduction cost for Broxish. So I, we, I still have some Pokemon that don't have like the reduction cost, the first one, but it's pretty nuts. So. All right, so let's see a Pokemon where I have a lot of eggs. There was... Um, I think I have a lot of eggs on my Ghastly. Yeah. And Magnet, uh, Magnemite as well. So Magnemite has a lot of candies. It's mainly because I play him a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. On most of my runs. So we're gonna have, like, always a Magnemite. I always have my main carry be fused with a, Magne a Magnezone. Because it's a Steel type and he has Sturdy as well. So it's always a good Pokemon to fuse into later on into the game if you have a special attacker or something like this. So I have a lot of candies on this guy. So we're gonna do, we're gonna buy eggs. I mean, we have nothing else to do anyways. We're gonna buy like 10 of them. And the goal right now is to try and um, unlock the rare ability, the egg move ability. I think that's it. How many do we have? We have one, two, Three, four. Wait, okay, so. Oh, that's very interesting. It's. Uh, it, the egg is like common, but sometimes it can be a Manafi egg. I wonder if it changed something. We're gonna see if it changes something or if it's just a bug, but we're gonna see. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, ten. Okay, we have ten. So, we're gonna go in classic now. And I wonder if it's gonna take like 50 turns to hatch the Manafi egg as well. We're gonna try. I'm gonna do a fast classic run. And I'm gonna take you back whenever I'm done with uh, or whenever the hatching is happening, right? 
All right, so we are at 10 right now, so the eggs should be hatching. All right, we have 10 of them, okay? So first Magneti, okay, so again, we are looking for better IVs. We are gonna get abilities, nature, so when you buy those eggs, you are gonna get everything. So better IV, potential uh, better IV, nature, all of that. I'm looking for the rare egg move here. Hopefully we can get it in 10 eggs. That would be pretty nice. <laughs> Let's see. Still none. Okay, so the mana fee egg doesn't count as a mana fee egg. It's just um, it's just um, like a visual, I guess, right? All right, we got better IVs on one of them, uh, if I saw it correctly. I, I might be crazy, but I think we have better IVs over there, definitely. I'm just gonna open all of them. There you go. We didn't get anything. I don't think we got the the rare egg move, or maybe it didn't say on the. Um, on the thing, so I'm just gonna go back. We're gonna check again. We're gonna check the IVs. Uh, I mean, all my IVs are 31, I think, on Magnemite, so I don't think it matters too much. Let me check. Uh, Magnemite, there you go, IVs. Okay, so everything is 31, so it doesn't matter if I have anything new anyways. Oh, we did get the, the egg move. Look, okay, we got Thunderclap, but there was no... It didn't say anything in-game, or maybe I'm crazy, right? We did get Thunderclap here, see? So I, I can show you a before and after, just in case if you... I don't, you don't believe me for some reason, but yeah, there was a question mark before, and now we have Thunderclap. So it didn't say in-game that I got Thunderclap, but I actually have the move now. So this is something that might be maybe a bug, and the plus as well might be the bug for the menu. But in any case, we have a way now to farm egg moves, which means that, for example, if you want to farm Zation egg moves, you don't really have, as you can see, I don't have a single egg move on Zation because I never hatched him. But I actually bought an egg. So as you can see here, this is a Zishan egg. This is a legendary egg, of course. So which means it's gonna be um, hatching in 100 turns. I'm very happy with this change. Overall, I think that now that we can farm egg moves for specific Pokémons, I truly believe that this is gonna make stuff way easier if you have the, uh, the passive ability and stuff, right? So on Pokémon where you have like a lot of candies, for example, like me, or maybe you, later on in the future, who knows, you can now farm those egg moves that you are missing on Pokemon that you have a lot of candies, right? For example, Caterpie, it's very expensive, it's 35. I'm gonna post the amount of egg for each uh, cost on the screen. I'm gonna do it right now. So I don't know the, the, the cost right now at this point, but post recording, I'm gonna know the cost. Um, th those numbers might change in the future, just to let you know, but there you go. Uh, some reason I am still missing one egg move on Mewtwo as well, and um, okay, it's ten. It's very expensive. Like ten. <laughs> I mean, ten candies if you are doing a full endless run with a legendary is not too much. Uh, you can actually check my Grudon. I know I'm yapping a lot. I'm gonna end the video. Don't worry. Uh, I have seventy-seven candies on Grudon. This is basically one full endless run. So here we are missing the last egg move. So we could definitely just buy seven can seven egg here and get like the last um, the last egg move like definitely right. I'm not gonna do it now. I'm gonna do it off screen on my side. I'm gonna buy a lot of eggs for a lot of different Pokémon where I have a lot of candies, and there is also some Pokémon I want to farm egg moves on for my um, for my next runs. Like Darkrai is a very good Pokémon, so I want to hatch some eggs on him. And as you can see, it's twenty. I'm probably gonna just buy the reduced cost first and then buy an egg. I don't know which one is better. I think five is more than enough, to be fair. But there you go. So I'm gonna stop yapping now. This is gonna be it for this uh, video. This update is crazy, very nice. And I'm gonna post it on my Discord. So if you don't want to miss any of those uh, quality of life or feature update, you can join my Discord. I have a channel for it. So there you go. All right, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.